Hey, I'm here with Lisa Ray, the wonderful creator of Lux and Romance, and you just saw the fashion show that she just put on. How do you feel about it? I'm very excited. I'm very happy. I, I, didn't, I didn't believe that we were going to be able to pull it off because if you would have saw what happened backstage, all that chaos and fashion <laughs> shows, what happened, happens. Believe all the stories. <laughs> um, and for it to come off so smoothly, the women look wonderful. They made my creation come to life, and, and you can't ask for no more than that, but investors and buyers to buy it. <laughs> But it was wonderful. I mean, I love the pieces. The colors were vibrant. The shapes, the body shapes with the women and the curvaceousness in which I formed the line for us and women that has curves and booties and breasts <laughs> and all of that was good, you know, God-given things. I think it was wonderful. Well, and why did you decide of all the lines to start, why did you decide to start lingerie line? Um, a lot of my male fans um, believe that I'm a sex symbol. So with that said, to me, this line is for the sex symbol in every woman. So I say, well, you know, maybe I should go swimwear or, or lingerie or outerwear or jeans or what. And it was like, well, you know, what goes with the image of sex appeal, sex symbol, vixen, and it's like lingerie because I put on these like little productions and stuff, you know, I like to dress up and, you know, and every woman, when you when you feel pretty and when you feel fabulous and sexy, you look in that mirror and you're like, oh, this is good, yeah. And then you want to share that with a, a lot of other people, you know, your mate. Perhaps you know, and it's like when you you know when you do that, it's like you want to see that smile on his face, and you want it to be a, a nice and smooth touch to your body, and that's exactly what we had. Now we always remember from Players Club. Was there any influence in your designs? From my, uh, well, you know, uh, let me see. Uh, I do remember my outfit being uh, rhinestoned out, so I am that rhinestone bling bling diamond girl. You know what I mean? So I guess it did start back uh, way back then. You know, I've always been that kind of you know, see me, see me kind of person, you know what I mean? And just, just not alone with the bugle bees and the rhinestones and the, the um, bling on it, it's the colors, the, the, the vibrant colors that it's used. You know, the rich mocha chocolates and the, the raspberries and the burgundy wines, that's just a rich color. Definitely. Now, you know, we all love it, but definitely some people here to support you are very important to you. You've got your family and your yeah. daughter and your mother and your sister. How is that for you? I didn't realize how big this was gonna be for me until I looked around and saw all the people that came to support me. My cast came out, the writers, Debbie Allen, directors, the show, all of us, Tuesday night. <laughs> Look, um, my mother, my daughter, and, and, and my friends, and it was like, you know what? This is big for me. You know, this is history in the making for me, and everyone has to come here and watch this and see this. And so, I'm just kinda in awe. I'm, I think the only reason why I'm speaking and talking is because you got this microphone in my face. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, one last question. You, the Lux and Romance is coming out right in time for Valentine's Day. Is there anyone in particular that you're going to be wearing Lux and Romance for this Valentine's Day? Ooh, wouldn't you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know, but I'll never tell. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. Well, thank you so much for staying. Thank you very much. Thank you.